What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jake and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how I made my logo slash icon, which is this guy right here. It's pretty simple to make. Um, there's only one real complicated thing, which is this little subtraction part here. Um, otherwise, it's pretty basic. It's all in Photoshop. Um, should be pretty easy, but I got a request from someone on YouTube named Jacon Tisdale, I'll probably butcher your name, but they asked for a tutorial on how I did it, so I thought I might as well do it, because I'm sure there's other people curious on some of the techniques I used. So let's get into it. I'm going to put this off to the side, and we're going to open up Photoshop. I already have the original logo uh, right here, so I can use it for colors and stuff. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new file, 1500 by 1500, should be fine. And I'm going to go back into this one. I'm going to hit I and I'm going to click on the background here and that will give me my foreground color and if I hit X I'm going to switch to the background color now I'm going to select this circle and that will give me my color for that so if I switch back into my new composition I'm going to hit this right here to make a new layer and if I hit G you're going to get the paint bucket and you're going to make sure your light gray is selected up top and you're going to click and you have your background now and I'm going to make a new layer now, make sure my dark gray is selected, and I'm going to click on this shape thing here. If it's not a circle, select circle there. And I make sure it's only on fill, no stroke. And I'm going to make a circle. And if you hit Alt, it'll start making the circle from the center. If you hold Shift, too, it'll make it so the dimensions are equal. So I'm going to make it about that size, like that. I'm going to move it over, and if you want it to be exactly in the center, hold control, 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 and click on your background right here. And you're going to go into layer with the lip selected. You're going to go on layer, align layers to selection, and click on vertical centers. And you're going to do that again. And you're going to click on horizontal centers. And now your sphere will be perfectly in the center. All right. So now we have that part done, we're going to go back into our original picture, hit I again, select this green here, and select this darker green here. And we're going to create some more circles. So with our lighter green, we're going to do one about there, we're going to do one like right there, and one right there. All right. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do these in separate ones for what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So with your little one, or your, sorry, your biggest one, you're gonna want to duplicate that, and you're gonna also want to rasterize both of these, and you're gonna want to rasterize this big one too, and duplicate it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter about those top ones. We don't really care about those. So now what we're gonna do is with one of our dark gray one circle selected we're going to hold control and click on it and it'll make a path around it we're going to click on one of our ellipses here and the green ones and we're going to hit delete and what that will do is it'll take out a chunk of it so now if we hide that and take this copy of this if we hold control and click on this one now and we hide that and we select this circle and we take a chunk out of that now and we can delete this and this now if we put that back got a little subtraction thing going on there so that's probably the hardest part of this tutorial not really too bad but yeah it looks pretty nice so now we are going to go back and grab this color and this color and finish up those circles so i'm just going to go in here make sure that's the fill i want make some circles like that make one right there and one right there i'm gonna switch over to the gray new layer 
and we're going to make one like that, like so, and like so, like that. All right, there we go. Got all the circles done. Now we are going to do the text. Uh, we're going to make it select our text tool. The font I used, I'm already on it for some reason, is Devil Breeze. Um, I got it on defont.com, I think. And you can use any basically like font that looks similar to that if you want. That's the one I like, but anyway, I'm going to just make that. And I'm gonna type Y and G and J. And I'm gonna select that and I'm going to actually find out what color this is. I believe it's just pure white. Let's find out. Yes, it's just pure white. Nice. All right, so we're going to go back on our text editor and we're going to make this white. And it's also a bit bigger. Let's try 450. Um, you know what? If I bet I can center this up perfectly again using our little technique we learned earlier. Vertical centers and vertical or horizontal centers. Nope. Oh. Well get as close as possible. If you make the uh, border of this part right here exactly like that, it should work. Oh, sorry for hitting the microphone. All right, and what I also did is I made just this Y bold. I believe I made it. No, I did not make it that bold. <laughs> Let's try Demi. Nope, still too bold. Let's try Book. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I think it's just medium. There we go. So it gives it that nice artsiness if you want um got that done now we're on to the last part of this which is just the thingies right here um this part can be a little bit annoying you're gonna have to use your imagination on how you're gonna want it but what i'm going to do is make a new layer i'm going to start with the big ones right here so i'm gonna Select that color. I'm going to start with this one because this one's a bit easier. I'm going to make a triangle using, you can either use polygon tool or you can use like pen tool if you want it, which, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use pen tool. This would be a bit easier. Um, I'm going to make a triangle shape and if you hold shift, it will make it a straight line. Nope, did not. Make a triangle like around there. And then now what you're going to want to do is right click fill path with, we're going to use foreground color. And you got that filled in. And then now what we can do is if we duplicate this and we tell you what. We're just going to rotate, I don't want to rotate it on the center. We move the edge right there and we rotate it. There we go, that's what we want. All right, so we do that about there. Okay. And if we put this below, like so, and we click on this and we go, we're going to need the darker color. Okay. If we click on this again and go color overlay and we go to our dark color, boom, we have one done now. Okay, nice, nice, good job. All right, so now we're going to do our next one. So we're gonna make a triangle that looks like, I'm gonna go to pen tool, that might help. I'm gonna start around here go to here, go to around here, and we're gonna finish it up. And this one uses this green, so we can go fill path, foreground, nice. Oh geez, hold up. <laughs> I didn't make this a new layer. I'm sorry guys. I got it. I'm a 
Lol OC, like that. Jesus tutorial's running longer than I was hoping for. All right, I'll try to make this really quick, snappy. Fill path, foreground. All right. Oh, geez, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna duplicate this. And we're just going to, oh, big eraser. We're just gonna erase this. Oh, I know why. I didn't delete my path. There, I'll delete path. All right, there, good now. Sorry, <laughs> it's late. All right, and I'm going to drag this in the corner again and apply transformation. No, stop. We're gonna duplicate it. And now we're going to move that to the corner. And no, we're going to rotate it. And oh, I took I took the wrong corner again. <laughs> All right, no, rotate. There we go. All around there should be fine. And we do it about there. I'm gonna drop this below. You know, I'm gonna make this the new color, which is gonna be the dark green. I'm gonna put that back. And I'm going to put this around here. And with this selected, I'm going to delete that part from no from here. So now I can get a little picture of what I want to delete. All right. There. Good enough. All right. Got that part done. And then switch this, go to pen tool, and no, I want to zoom. You could have just pen tooled the whole thing instead of doing it like that, but um, depends how precise you want to be. Around there, 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 and finish it. All right, and now fill. Nope, I want to use background color. Nope, I want to use foreground color. Okay, you know what? It's just... <laughs> it is not... We're, we're going to do color, and we're going to select it ourselves. Oh my god, I know what I'm doing wrong. I got to make a new layer because it has the color overlay. All right, <laughs> I am officially losing it. There we go. We're going to drop that below there, and delete that path and boom there's our new one we just made and there's the original basically the same thing a little bit different proportions but yeah there you guys have it there's how to make my logo hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial not really little i guess it's almost 14 minutes but there you guys go i'll shut up now have a good day see ya